everyone. I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for. We've modeled a dog, and now we need to bring this dog to life. So, um, please go into the rigging tool kit, um, for both menus, in the drop-down menu and in the top tab bar, and we will begin in x-ray mode, if you haven't noticed, I like x-ray mode quite a bit. Um, and we're going to start off by setting down joints, and the joint tool is located in the um, top bar, if you can't find it. You can also go into skeleton and use the joint tool. Um, I set down a joint and I realized that the joint radius was too big, so I opened the joint tool settings and I changed the joint radius to 0.25 instead of what it was, 0.5. Now I'm going to be moving the joints and placing them as to where I think um, they'll best work with this model. On the reference image there are some um, some hints or helpers to give you an idea as to where dogs bones actually um, are in a dog but um, real life is different um, and copying the exact bone structure of an animal may not produce the results you want in Maya, so you gotta kind of get used to um, working with it. Um, and yes, we started in the side view because we will be moving all of these uh, joints over and duplicating them or mirroring them in a second, but um, the side view just helps place them, helps the initial placement. Alright, now let's get into moving the joints into place. I'm going to start off with the front leg and I'm going to start with the top um, joint because uh, when I move the joints it moves all of the joints under it and you don't want to move the bottom and then realize you have to move the top and then have to go back and move the bottom again. I've done it many times and it's just no fun. So um, we start top down when moving joints or placing joints I guess is a better term. Um, in the arms it is very important that you place the joints with a slight bend because we will be adding IK handles um, on all the limbs of this dog and IK handles need a bend in the joint uh, structure for it to work properly. Placing the joints um, is up to you. You can do it over and try it again and um, you can bind the skin, test it out, see how it works, then unbind the skin and try a different way, but um, the way I've done in the video um, has worked out for me so far and produced pretty good results, so um, if you're following along, you should also have good results. So right now, um, before I duplicate the joints um, of the limbs and the ear, I'm going to name them. I'm also going to name some other joints. This is important because when we get into weight painting, um, navigating between joints will be get will get very tricky when they're all named joint 24, joint 35. Uh, you you won't really know. So it's important to name your joints so that when you need to adjust the weight on that joint, you will know. Um, maybe not exactly, but you'll have a quicker way of finding the joint you're looking for. Um, since I did the left joints first, um, when I renamed the left leg and the left ear, I put an L in front of this, and this is important because when I mirror the joints, it gives you the option to um, 
mirror it with the name, but you can change one thing about the name. And this is where it gives you the option. So it says search for L, and I want to replace L with R. And if you see, it worked pretty well. Now I'm going to do the same with the hind leg, mirror joint. And voila, I didn't have to rename it. Saved, saved like five seconds. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm adding the inverse kinetic on the um, limbs of the dog and they can either be found in the skeleton drop down menu or on the top bar um, with the white with the white joint looking tool and I start with the base of each limb and I go to um, either two or three joints down and inverse kinetics is something you have to like work with um, you gotta get used to it so once you create an IK handle you're gonna wanna test it and move the IK handle and see how the joint reacts this way when you bind your skin you will not um, bind with a error in the way your joints 